Please be advised that everything in my video is purely for entertainment purposes. These are purely my thoughts and opinions and are subjective. I must advise you, please do your own research. All media used was found on the public domain and are fair use and fair dealings. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Mahogany Spirit coming to you from the UK. I hope you're all safe and well. As we know that there is a lot of uncertainty going on in the world at the moment. I really do mean that. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to be talking about Alexis Ohan, Serena Williams is husband today. Who has decided to step down from his gaming company? He's given up his seat and he wants to be replaced with a black candidate. He's spoken quite openly about this. He's talked about the racism he's witnessed his wife experiencing when they've been traveling around the world together. He said that she's obviously experienced covert racism to overt racism. And he feels that it's time for a change and it needs to start from the top all the way down. And he's made this statement and it has actually, in fact, broken the Internet. People are quite shocked. He has also pledged one million dollars to Colin Kaepernick's Know Your Rights campaign, which he states seems the obvious starting point. So that's where he's actually at with it all. Why am I talking about Alexis Ohan? I'm actually talking about him because I thought if everyone cast their mind back to last year, Meghan Markle attended quite a few tournaments in which Serena Williams was competing in. She attended both of the final tournaments and for the US Open. And if we can all recall, Serena Williams did actually lose. When she attended the US Open, she was asked by Serena Williams' trainer not to attend because he felt it would be distracting. But yet she still attended. There were awkward images of Meghan Markle seated with the Williams families and Alexis Ohan, Serena's husband, her trying to talk to Oristine, Serena's mother, and Oristine just simply not even acknowledging her whatsoever. I honestly felt that Serena felt overshadowed by Meghan Markle's presence. And I think she felt some kind of way about it. Although she never directly said it. Subsequently, she has made slight little pops and jives at Meghan Markle. She did actually state that she was surprised Meghan did actually attend the match considering her son Archie was so young I think Archie was about six weeks old when Megan left him to attend the US Open and then we have this strange release coming from Alexis Ohan himself when he kind of suggested I'm not going to read all of it and I'm not going to read it out because I am going to actually put it in the video link some will hit their inevitable ceiling early, but others will actually continue to thrive. And I'm not going to read the, the top end of that because, I, like I said, I will actually be posting it in the video. I'm going to insert it into the video so you'll be able to actually um, read it for yourself and take of it what you will. It just all seems slightly uncomfortable because Meghan Markle does not really have many black friends. Although she's made this surprise speech to her class of 2020 alumni talking about their future in the world and how she's hopeful for them and excited about what they will actually do. She did spend five minutes actually talking about her own experiences and in doing that she actually did reveal her age. She revealed that she is around about 43, 44. I've got nothing against women's age, you know, I'm not ageist, but why lie? It's just all a bit bizarre. Since then, Meghan has been keeping close tabs with Black Lives Matter. She and Harry want to be fully informed of what's going on. They want details of what's going on with regards to police brutality. 
Because I feel that Meghan and Harry, at this point, they're actually scrambling for ideas. They had lined up a roster of things to do when they decided to quit the royal family. They had the 3D Washington, or should I say Meghan had the 3D Washington film that she had in the pipelines going on. There was the public speaking, which she would have been doing with JP Morgan, which is now down the tubes. And there was apparently a second booking with Disney, which is no, no longer going to take place because the first Disney appearance didn't really go down a storm. So they are really scrambling for things to do. You've also got to take into account we have the book written by Omid Scooby, The Finding Freedom, and we have the documentary that Oprah will be doing with Harry. So that is kind of like all up in the air at the moment due to the COVID and now these race riots. What I find so hypocritical about Meghan Markle and Harry, but especially Meghan, is that throughout the duration of her whole career, she has never once spoken about black issues until she landed in the UK. She's never really spoken about black issues and it's never really been a major topic. Yes, she's always talked about female empowerment and she's always talked about women's rights, but she's never really spoken up about her ethnicity until she actually married into the royal family. Now, all of a sudden, she can recall her great grandfather's stories about him having to go into the back of the entrance at various eateries such as KFC with his family, him not being able to sit at the front. It all just seems to me to be some kind of front. And it just appears to be that Meghan is literally using the topics of the day for clout to keep her at the forefront and to give her some kind of clout in LA and also favour worldwide and globally. And it's just a fast. It's all hypocrisy because we all know that for years she has lived as a Caucasian woman and she has literally worn the Caucasian badge. Now, me personally, I've got nothing against that. I am biracial myself. I do consider myself to be a black woman, but then I've always lived in that narrative. I've never really lived in any other. My mum and father always raised me to believe that if you're not white, you are black. And that's how I was raised. So for me, it's not a case of jumping on the bandwagon. I have not gone out and demonstrated because I feel my life matters all the time. And those that know me know that. So I don't need to go out into the street and start demonstrating. I feel that human life matters. That's my personal opinion. But with Meghan Markle, it feels like she's just jumped on this gravy train. She's making all these noises about Black Lives Matter. She's suddenly talking about her history. And she seems to have completely blotted out her father who raised her and gave her the support when her mother was not around to do so. She doesn't really talk about what actually happened with her mother. And yet, when she did get married, we did not see one black relative other than Doria, quite honestly, at the wedding. She does have other black relatives. We did not see them attend that wedding. None of them spoke out. Why wasn't they invited? It's all just very hypocritical. Like I say, this woman is full of hypocrisies. Nothing is genuine. And I feel that Serena Williams felt slighted. I feel that she felt overshadowed. She felt disrespected. And I really do feel she felt used by Meghan Markle. And as a result of this, the couple have taken a few pops. It looks like Serena's husband, Alexis, Maybe edging his way forward to some kind of political seat. Maybe he wants to have some kind of political platform. I'm not actually sure, but I really don't feel that he has just suddenly jumped on the bandwagon. I really do think that he is actually filled with some kind of integrity. But as for Meghan Markle, I really think that she needs to drop this whole 
black at because she's never actually worn the black hat before. She has put herself down on numerous occasions as Caucasian, has only dated and married white men. And that's the side of the fence she's chosen to straddle. She's married into a family which has a colonial history and past. And I really do struggle with this whole narrative of she was a victim in the UK. She left the UK under that kind of guise. I think it's wrong. Guys, tell me what you think. Please like, comment and subscribe.